let us start with the uh, first problem of today's problem sheet and uh, probably i'll try to solve one problem only to the, in today's class so this first problem says that the vibrating system having mass 1 kg is suspended by a spring uh, spring of stiffness 1000 newton per meter so let us first uh, note down the given data in the problem so first uh, point it is uh, said that the mass of the uh, uh, system is 1 kg so it is 1 kg then uh, the spring stiffness is uh, 1000 newton per meter then it is put to harmonic excitation of 10 newton so capital f is equal to 10 newton now assuming viscous damping you can neglect the concept of viscous damping here uh, because most of the cases in our numericals we deal with the viscous damping only so now we are required to determine the resonant frequency phase angle uh, at resonance amplitude at resonance frequency corresponding to peak amplitude and damp frequency taking capital c is equal to 40 newton second per meter so now uh, the first point the frequency at uh, resonance so uh, frequency at resonance means uh, we all know that the <coughs> frequency omega and the omega n the natural frequency and the this is the natural frequency and this is the external excitation frequency these two frequencies will be equal in nature at resonance so the question as it is asking frequency at resonance so it is root over k by m your k is given as thousand it is uh, one mass is one so your answer is 31.62 radian per second I have uh, these values, ready-made values, I have calculated these values as well as these are uh, some solved problems of the uh, book. So the values are readily available with me. So now <laughs> the next part uh, that we need to calculate is the phase angle at resonance. Uh, just a second. Yeah, it is the phase angle at resonance. So phase angle at resonance, uh, we can directly write actually this was the first part a now to the second part phase angles at resonance phase angle at resonance uh, we are required to find out the value of phi uh, so this can be directly find out because the tan phi equation we have but tan phi is <coughs> uh, since uh, in this particular problem it is resonance it is a case of resonance so tan phi is always infinity or phi is equal to pi by 2 so this particular angle <coughs> phase angle is always 90 degree at resonance so remember this particular point for any future reference if you are uh, you are give provided with a problem where uh, you are asked to find out some phase angle or you are asked to do something else but where you need the value of uh, phase angle then always remember at resonance the phase angle is always 90 degree there is a, a theoretical standard proof next is the amplitude at resonance so what is the amplitude of uh, at resonance uh, we have already uh, calculated a value we have a particular formula at resonance a resonance is equal to f by c omega n here in our case f is equal to 10 newton and uh, c is asked to be assumed as 40 into omega n we have just now find out so 31.62 so uh, this gives you amplitude that resonance as 7.9 into 10 to the power minus 3 the unit of amplitude is always meter remember this amplitude unit is always meter remember this very well now the next uh, fourth part is the frequency corresponding to peak amplitude so uh, we are asked to find out the disturbing frequency or external frequency at the peak amplitude this is again a standard formula uh, see some formulas we may not uh, discuss in the theory part of the uh, particular chapter but whenever we will be doing this numericals we will be finding varieties formulas at the intermediate level so uh, this is the <coughs> frequency uh, that is the frequency corresponding to peak amplitude equation so this uh, gives us uh, 31.62 into square root of 1 minus 2 into now epsilon square what is the value of epsilon 
we need to calculate the value of epsilon s epsilon is equal to c by twice m omega n so here it is 40 2 into mass is 1 kg omega 1 is 31.62 so this will give you the omega n value is 0.632 so from this we can now write omega peak is equal to 31.62 the square root of 1 minus 2 into 0 0.632 square so from this I will be getting 14.14 radian per second so this is the fourth answer now the uh, fifth part the damp frequency that is omega d this equation you have found in your earlier days of study of this particular uh, subject uh, here it is the damp frequency we wrote as omega d if you uh, remember in your fourth semester class it is 1 minus epsilon square remember this into omega n this omega n does not come inside the square root so this uh, is 1 minus 0 0.632 square into 31.62 so this will give rise to 24.5 radian per second so these things are totally equation dependent always remember one thing in case of uh, force vibration problem whatever we solve all the problems are formula dependent so the main important thing is you need to remember the formulas very well because if you remember the formula well then you can easily solve the problems it is very easy to find out see i am uh, repeating this uh, solution once again from the beginning see at first i have uh, written this given data based on this i have uh, started the problem at frequency i need to uh, okay sorry at resonance we need i need to find out the frequency so omega is equal to omega and we all know and the simplest formula root by k by m thereby i have found out the value of omega n next thing at resonance the value of <coughs> your phase angle is always 90 degrees so i can directly write it at resonance amplitude was asked to be found this is the formula for finding out the amplitude at resonance remember this is at resonance only it is not the normal amplitude formula as we had done in the case of uh, in the theoretical case so this is amplitude at resonance the next formula is the peak frequency at the <coughs> uh, 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 peak frequency corresponding to peak amplitude so this is the next formula and the fifth formula we have uh, used it is for damp frequency so this is omega d is the damp frequency so this is all about the first problem of today's problem set